So welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to share with you a very inexpensive but tasteful way that you can give a really nice gift that works beautifully for a hostess gift or if you're going over to someone's home for um, an open house, uh, if someone has just moved into their own new place, this is a really nice, affordable, tasteful gift. So I'm going to share with you these three candle, they could either be a votive or a tea light candle holder that I found at the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love the patterns on these because I think that they just have a really nice distinguished high-end look. So now that you've had an up close look of each of the candle holders, I have three of them here. I'm going to put one of them together for you. So simple, so easy, but I think it has a really tasteful impact. So the first thing that you wanna do is get some sort of shred grass. I always like to use this really nice sort of vanilla colored. It's not quite white, but it's more of like a cream. Very, very pretty. Um, shred grass. I picked this up actually at Tuesday morning, but um, you can find it at the Dollar Tree. Just not usually this color. So this one I usually typically will get there. Um, another little tip, anything in my house that comes in a bag, rubber band it. I put a rubber band around it to keep it nice and closed. You're good to go. I don't mess with the big clips and all that stuff. Typically they end up falling off. Anything that I don't keep in a canister, like sugar and flour and all of those things, rubber band it. So, totally off the subject, but there's another little tip for you. So, what you do is take a little bit of the shred and you place it inside of one of your little candle holders here, just like I've done. And then what I like to do is, you can choose a ribbon of your own, you know, choosing, but I think black is distinguished and it's elegant and it's sophisticated and I think it goes with everything regardless of what color you choose in terms of a candle holder, black is always gonna go. So I'm going to, I always cut it first also. And you can either do a ribbon or you can do what I am doing here, which is just a simple knot and then I've given it the dovetails on the ends. So you take your candle holder, and since I've already fitted this, this is gonna work out perfectly. Take it, put it on there, pull it up to the top wherever it was that you tightened it from whenever you created your ribbon. I always like to adjust everything, make sure that it all looks really nice and pretty. Then what you do is take a battery operated tea light candle. Now these I absolutely love because, and you can't really tell, but you will in a little bit. They have the wick that looks as if it's already burned down. They're very short. They have a beautiful wax. And I purchased these from Pottery Barn and they are really very, very nice quality. So if you want to provide something more than a simple basic tea light candle to sort of give this an even higher end look. Um, it's totally worth springing a little bit more money for a candle like this one. It's gonna have the wick that looks like it's already burned down. So we're gonna turn it on. And then what you wanna do is drop it down inside just enough to where you get a little bit of the glow through the front but you have this nice cushion of your beautiful craft grass inside. And then here's what it will look like. And I think it's absolutely exquisite. One of my interior design friends once told me, and she's wonderful, everything she touches just turns to gold, she said, to me one time, anytime you arrive at someone's door with a candle of any sort, a candle holder or anything like that, if it's battery operated, 
Always make sure that it's lit. It just makes a beautiful presentation whenever you're able to gift something to someone and it has that beautiful candlelight glow already. And so many things that we buy nowadays, um, you have your candle already inside. So of course, I wouldn't suggest walking up to the door, you know, with a flame going, but anything that you buy, if it's, uh, say for instance, a lighted snowman at Christmas time, and it has that battery operated feature, turn it on when you present it to them at the door. If you purchase something like a beautiful, gorgeous ceramic pumpkin for the fall, turn that battery operated light on when you present it at the door and it just has such a beautiful impact um, and i think that it sort of takes your gift and it really gives it a little extra special touch so this was so simple one dollar each for these patterned really pretty again very very nice i think they have sort of a scroll almost a um sort of a retro pattern really on them. And then we have our one here in the center that has our craft grass, this beautiful sort of gold champagne color tied off with our black ribbon. And then we have the light of our candle showing through the top part of our glass and then also giving it a little bit of illumination. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is so inexpensive. So if you're looking for something that's really classy and tasteful to give as a gift that's not gonna break the bank, I think this is the perfect, perfect way for you to go. So be sure and subscribe to my channel. Check out my video description for links to all my social media sites, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my website. Uh, my Facebook, my online at home with Zane store is in there. Um, be sure and check all of those out. Follow me over there. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll look for you the next time.